Then use the hashtag Safari Live if you're on Twitter. Here's a fee. If you don't think he's as old as Mvula, you can see he doesn't have his ears aren't that tatty yet. The main road that is sort of the boundary between Arathis and Juma almost acts as a natural boundary for the two big male leopards in this area. It seems to be listening intently. There's a there's a water hole right next to us. Or well, it could be an art fog hole. He's quite famous for catching art fox, but he seems very intent on this hole that's just next to us here, and I can see definitely fresh diggings in the hole. Maybe this is how he catches all his art fox. He finds the hole and just sits there. You can see he's listening and looking down into that hole. So, as I was saying, guys, that um, Remy on Twitter is just asking, is he waiting for something or is he is he resting? I mean, just he's not. Us. Um, he might have lost him, uh, but because there is something in this hole that is interested him, he seems to catch Artfark, which is quite unusual. And I think he is now resting and he is waiting. Um, He'll wait next to this hole. I can see fresh diggings in that there. I can't see any tracks and whatnot, but I, I will have a look uh, just now if I can have a good look into that. Um, he will probably be rest here. Yeah. I'm just gonna. The other vehicle's leaving now, so we're gonna move into this spot there. I want to just have a bit of look in this in this hole. See if I can see any tracks to figure out whether it's just the water that's been utilised in this hole. so I can have a quick look. I can actually see dust coming out. There's something moving inside the hole. So, oh, you can't really see it, can you? Let's roll, roll back a bit. Without being able to get, get off and, and look at the tracks, it's quite difficult for me to say what animal it is in that hole. I'm just trying to find the best spot for you guys to have a view in. So it's funny, it's a funny angle there. 
it's a funny angle. I can't you can't, so I can see actually inside it from where I am, but you really can't because if I go any further down, you don't see it at all. Okay, let's get something. There we go. So you can see I can actually see a bit of dust coming out. There's definitely movement in there. Um, I don't see any distinct warthog tracks. Um, so this could be. Yeah, just trying to look inside. Just trying to look inside, folks. Uh, so we're just looking inside. That's why the camera's so blown out. You can actually see the flies buzzing around the entrance. Um, we're just trying to look into the darkness. That's why it looks so blown out. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's definitely something in there. And he's obviously heard and, and smelt it. So that's why he's playing the patience game. Uh, clever leopard. And he's going to wait here until something happens. So I'm just going to go around again. I think this could be an art fark in here. I don't see sort of distinct facts that would make me think it was a warthog. Um, and the top is um, very smooth, the top of the, the hole. And a, and a warthog would sort of drop its head to get through there. And an art fark would be big enough that it, the top of its back would smoothen that hole. See, you can see he's now positioned himself with this good cover, very close to that that uh, that hole. So if anything comes out, um, he's in a really good position to grab it um, without it seeing him. Let's go around. Maybe we can see where the hole is in relation to where he's lying. He's lying. There we go. You can see him there. And you can see how well that his camouflage is working. And then you can see that mound beyond him. There's the entrance to that hole. And I think he might be waiting here till tonight to see if something happens. morning Blair from New Zealand they would like to know well why doesn't he just stick his paws in and grab the art fog well Blair that would be quite difficult um, and those burrows are actually quite extensive and he wouldn't actually want to go down there in case there might be something like a porcupine which shares these burrows very often with other animals and um, let me just move the vehicle quickly So far, for those of you who might have logged in late or just joined us, we started off the morning with the Pride Lions around the dam playing, and uh, now we're sitting here with uh, the dominant male leopard from Arethusa, um, who's playing a patient. game, uh, waiting for an animal that's in a hole. And uh, he's probably going to wait here the majority of the day uh, and just to see what, what comes out of that hole. Oh, you could see dust coming out of it just now. There's something he's going to lie down here 
and there are quite a, a, a lot of other vehicles that are, are trying to get into the sighting guys so we've been lucky we've we've had a good view of them um so i'm just going to get hold of ryan who's who's waiting close by like we were um to come in and have a look ryan come in uh what's your position copy um let me know when you get to um, the saf safari access and I'll make space for you. So it's chosen quite a good spot to rest up if something does decide to come out of that hole. Um, I'm very happy. I got to see another leopard that I haven't seen before. Me too. It's also new for you. You're new for me as well. Jeez, we just keep seeing the new leopards these days. So, I mean, and since uh, the last week or so, we've seen three three leopards we haven't seen before, which is always wonderful for for, for us as well as for you. Although I think you guys have seen Tingana more more than more than we have, since uh, you guys are on drives with all all of us, not just us two. Hodgkins, welcome on drive with us this morning. Uh, D would like to know whether an odd frog is capable of running away from a leopard, or um, if not, what other defense mechanisms does it have? Well, normally, um, odd frog are use bolt holes like this while they're out foraging, they can run into a hole to get away from a leopard. But in this position, leopards will sort of put himself in the in the prompt. There's not much an art fox could do to get away from a leopard as as he comes out to go start foraging. Uh, the leopard's right there and on top of him. And um, they do have very long woods, but I don't ever ever heard of them using them uh, to defend themselves. They would, I mean, they would fight, could possibly scratch the leopard. But I think you'd be too quick onto them as they come out of the hole to actually be able to defend against. Good morning, Anne, on Twitter. Anne would like to know whether art frogs are nocturnal. Yes, Anne, they do feed occasionally during the day, but most of the time they are um, nocturnal and generally they only get moving after the sort of peak predator hours in the evening so probably n after nine nine o'clock uh, ten o'clock at night they would come out um, not always but generally and, and all depends on the predator densities of the area as well but yes and uh, they are mostly nocturnal morning Jeremy from Iowa. Uh, Jeremy would like to know, do art folk excavate their own burrows um, or do they steal burrows from other animals and how long do they stay in each burrow? Well Jeremy it's actually the other way around. The art folk do most of the excavatings and the war dogs and <laughs> war dogs, hyenas and wild dogs and porcupines and everyone else will take over disused art folk burrows. So they're the ones who make most of the burrows originally. And as to how long they stay in each burrow, I'm not 100% sure, Jeremy. 
Um, I'm, I'll have a quick look in my big book, see if there's anything on that. I'll stop making my way out here. Okay, guys, um, whilst resting up, sleeping, we'll definitely try to follow up and we'll down here later uh, this afternoon. But um, we're just going to make space for Ryan to come. Um, and so he can also, uh, him and his guests can also enjoy the, the leopard. Um, I will get back to that art far question shortly um, once I've managed to get out of this, the block. Um, just while we're leaving, there's another question from Dee Hodgkins. She says, what are the likelihood of a honey badger also being in that burrow? I would say probably about zero, Dee. Uh, I doubt that there's a honey badger in that burrow. But also, uh, not zero, one percent. Because you never know. There might be that one percent chance that there's a honey badger in the burrow. station with Tindana, uh, one station making me away, no stations on standby. Open.